गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन सो व्हाट इज क्लासिफिकेशन क्लासिफिकेशन इज अ ब्रांच इन विच वी कैटेगराइज एन इंडिविजुअल और एन एन ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इट्स ऑब्जर्वेबल करेक्टर्स सो 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 क्लासिफिकेशन इज और मेनली फाइव किंगडम एंड फर्स्टली देर आर डिफरेंट मोड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन systems are uh, originated and different scientists uh, have proposed different concept about the classification system first system is two kingdom classification and this system was proposed in carle by carles linnaeus and he proposed only two kingdom that is plantae and animalia later on three kingdom classification uh, was introduced by haeckel ernest haeckel and in which plantae animalia and protista the third one is introduced next is four kingdom classification four kingdom classification was proposed by copland in which monera protista plantae and animalia then later on five kingdom classification that is rh whitaker proposed the five kingdom classification in which monera protista fungi plantae and animalia was there and further six kingdom classification or three domain system was introduced by carl woos in which monera is further subdivided into archaea and eu bacteria so this is the general table in which the key feature or key characteristics of different kingdoms are proposed first one is uh, bacteria bacteria uh, has a cell type prokaryote cell structure bacteria contains cell wall with peptidoglycan number of cells they are unicellular mode of nutrition they are autotrophic and heterotrophic an example is streptococcus e coli next is archaea so this archaea kingdom has prokaryotic cell type cell walls without peptidoglycan and they are unicellular they are auto or heterotrophic example are methanogens and halophiles then protista protista are the eukaryotic cell type cell wall of cellulose and uh, some have chloroplast also mostly unicellular autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition amoeba paramecium and slime mold then fungi fungi has eukaryotic cell type cell wall is made up of chitin mostly multicellular they are heterotrophic mushroom and yeast is example next is plantae plantae are eukaryotic cell wall of cellulose chloroplast multicellular autotrophic mosses ferns flowering plant animalia they are eukaryotic no cell wall multicellular heterotrophic sponges worm insect fishes mammal birds so kingdom monera bacteria are the sole member of this kingdom and uh, bacteria are categorized on the basis of shape we can see in this slide if the bacteria is of spherical shape then they are known as cocci if the rod shape bacteria then bacilli coma shape vibro and spiral shape spirulum kingdom monera may be autotrophic or heterotrophic so kingdom monera is divided into archaea bacteria and eu bacteria archaea bacteria are the ancient bacteria so archaea bacteria further categorized into three category halophiles thermoacidophiles and methanogens halophiles these bacteria live in extreme salty area and thermoacidophiles these bacteria live in hot spring and highly acidic area methanogens these are the bacteria which are present in several ruminant animals and they are responsible for the production of methane or biogas next is true bacteria so true bacteria has a rigid cell wall and if they are motile then they may have a flagella eu bacteria have photosynthetic uh, uh, pigment uh, photosynthetic autotroph example is cyanobacteria the blue green algae they have chlorophyll a similar to green plants cyanobacteria are unicellular colonial or filamentous marine or terrestrial algae the colonies are generally surrounded by gelatinous sheath some of these organism can fix atmospheric nitrogen in specialized cells called heterocyst example nostoc and anabiana next chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria they oxidized various inorganic substances such as nitrate nitrite ammonia and use the released energy for their atp production heterotrophic bacteria the majority are the important decomposers they are useful in making curd from milk production of antibiotic fixing nitrogen next mycoplasma these are the organisms that lay uh, 
completely a cell wall and they are smallest living cells pplo pleura pneumonia pneumonia like organisms now reproduction in bacteria uh, may be of uh, two type asexual and sexual in asexual reproduction binary fusion or spore formation is there and in sexual reproduction conjugation will be there now kingdom protista kingdom protista are single celled eukaryotic and they reproduce sexually or asexually so first uh, member uh, first class is chrysophytes chrysophytes contain two diatoms and golden algae and they are fresh water as well as marine habitat they are occur in fresh as well as marine habitat they are microscopic and float passively in water current diatoms are the chief producer in the ocean in diatoms the cell wall form from two thin overlapping shells and just like a soap box and uh, when diatoms uh, uh you can say diatoms died then they left behind a huge amount of cell wall deposit and it is just like a diatomaceous colony known as diatomaceous earth and this uh, diatomaceous earth can be used for filtration of oil and syrups and for polishing <coughs> next is dinoflagellates as the name indicate it has two flagella mostly marine and photosynthetic they appear yellow green brown blue or red depending upon the pigment the cell wall has stiff cellulose plate on the outer surface most of them have two flagella one lies longitudinal and other lies transverse in a gap so red tide is example of uh, dinoflagellate red tide is due to the red dinoflagellate name as gonioclax and uh, these red dinoflagellates undergo rapid division so that's why the c just like appear a uh, red tide or red color <coughs> next is euglenoids fresh water organisms found in stagnant water instead of cell wall they have a protein rich layer called as pellicles which make their body flexible they have two flagella a short one and a long one and they are photosynthetic in nature if sunlight is there and when sunlight is absent they may uh, work as a heterotroph example is euglena next is slime molds Slime molds are saprophytic protists. Under suitable condition, they form an aggregation called as plasmodium, which may grow or spread over several feet. During unfavorable condition, the plasmodium differentiate and forms fruiting body, bearing spore at their tips. And the spore possesses true walls. They are extremely resistant and survive for many years. The spores are dispersed by air currents. Next is protozoa. All protozoa are heterotrophic. <coughs> and they live as a predator or parasites there are four major group of protozoans amoeboid means they have pseudopodia flagellated means they have flagella ciliated means they have uh, cilia and uh, the sporozoans they they have a you can say spore like stage in their life cycle next kingdom is kingdom fungi kingdom fungi are mainly heterotrophic most of them absorb soluble organic matter from dead substrate and hence they are called as saprophyte and some of the fungus are as parasitic in nature fungus uh, form uh, symbiotic association with the uh, algae known as lichen and sometimes fungus form an association with the roots of fire plant known as mycorrhiza example yeast uh, unicellular and uh, the slender thread like structure is known as hyphae the network of hyphae is known as mycelium cell wall of fungus are composed of chitin and polysaccharides now reproduction in fungi so vegetative reproduction uh, occur in fungus by fragmentation fission and uh, budding and asexual reproduction occur by asexual spore and sexual reproduction by uh, following steps plasmogamy and karyogamy in plasmogamy fusion of protoplasm uh, of two gametes and in karyogamy the fusion of nucleus will be take place now post zygotic meiosis will result in formation of haploid sexual spore yes we can see here these are the classes of fungi phycomycetes ascomycetes basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes phycomycetes has uh, aquatic habitat moist damp places ascomycetes uh, habitat is uh, parasitic and coprophilous basidiomycetes lives in uh, soil logs of uh, wood and tree Deuteromycetes imperfect fungi will live uh, as a decomposer structure of mycelium Phycomycetes uh, mycelium is aseptate and synocytic ascomycetes has <coughs> septate and branch 
basidium mycetes has septate and branch mycelium and deuteromycetes has septate and branch mycelium asexospore phycomycetes has zoospores ascomycetes has conidia basidium mycetes asexospores are absent and deuteromycetes has conidia also sexual reproduction if in phycomycetes it is by zygospores ascomycetes by ascospores and uh, basidiomycetes by basidiospores and in deuteromycetes no sexual spores are present example phycomycetes rhizopus albigo ascomycetes example is aspergillus claviceps neurospora basidiomycetes example is agaricus and astigligo and paxinia and deuteromycetes example is alternaria colitotrichum and trichoderma next is kingdom planting Kingdom planty is eukaryotic and contain chlorophyll means they perform the photosynthesis and some of the member of kingdom planty are partially heterotrophic uh, the insectivorous plant bladderwort venus flytrap cascata so next is kingdom animalia kingdom animalia are heterotrophic eukaryotic and uh, this can animalia kingdom cell lacks the cell wall they are directly or indirectly depend upon plants for food they digest their food in an internal cavity and store food reserve as glycogen or fat next is viruses the viruses name was uh, proposed on uh, the poisonous fluid and was given by poisher and uh, it is first recognized in uh, different uh, you can say plants next m m w term the viruses as uh, the organism which uh, release the infectious living fluid contagium vivum fluidum they are inert outside the cells means means virus if present on outside uh, of the animal body they are non living and if the virus present inside the body then they are living and virus contain genetic material it could be either rna or it could be either dna and may be single stranded or may be double stranded we can see in this figure and virus contain a protein coat known as capsid and this capsid is formed of small subunit known as capsomere viroids viroids are smaller than viruses and they have uh, rna uh, free as a genetic material and they also uh, lack the protein coat and uh, prions prions is the type of protein that can trigger normal protein in the brain to fold abnormally prion uh, diseases can affect both uh, human and uh, animals now lichen lichen is the symbiotic association between algae and fungus the algal component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component is known as mycobiont algae prepare their food uh, for fungus and fungus provide shelter so they are symbiotic means they are mutually uh, benefit each other thank you